Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today is September 29th, 2020. Um, I'm gonna do a tarot reading today and because today is the first day of the um, presidential debates tonight, uh, I wanted to do something political. And so I'm gonna do a three card spread on Donald Trump and I'm gonna do a three card spread on Joe Biden. And then at the end, I'm gonna do another spread and see what, what we can find out as far as um, you know, who could potentially win this election in November. So I'm going to get started. And um, I decided to use my Everyday Witches Tarot because I love the images on these cards. I do have, just in case, I have my traditional Rider Waite. Um, I have everything ready. And so I, I do want to go over quickly. Um, I have been asked in the comments about how I shuffle and how I pull cards. Uh, I shuffle just like normal, regular deck of cards. Um, I do like to do it three times, at least three. Sometimes I do it more if I haven't used that deck in a while. I just kind of want to, you know, cleanse them a little bit and just kind of shuffle as many times as I feel necessary. But most of the time, and I use this deck pretty often, so I, I really, I feel like I'm comfortable with three. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm kind of excited to watch the debate tonight. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of like I just want to make a huge bowl of popcorn and sit down and kind of just watch the shit show, if you know what I mean. Because that's probably what it's going to be. Okay. All right. So now, when I'm done doing that shuffle, I will do this a few times. If a card falls out while I'm either shuffling or doing this, I do believe that that is a card that is meant to be read. So I, I will keep that out. If something falls out, I will definitely keep that out. Because I think somebody asked me that as well. And, and I do. So now, as far as picking, I like to just grab randomly. I like to do... Um, Usually what I do is I try to get the whole deck, so I'll grab something towards the front or the front. Not very often, but sometimes if I feel drawn to that front card. Something towards the middle and something towards the back or that back one. Um, but, f and somebody, I think, asked me if I ever fan them out. And so, yeah, I do fan them out, actually, sometimes. Um, just like this. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and draw Donald Trump's three cards because this is going to be a three card spread on each one so for the first one I want to get kind of an idea um, of what what is going on with um, President Trump what are his uh, what's his vibration right now what's happening with Donald Trump so let's do here okay and then let's do here uh. And then let's do this one here. Okay. All right. So. So for the first one, we've got the Two of Swords. And then we have two major Arcana cards. We have the Hanged Man and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, <clears throat> you know, just quickly looking at this spread, I would say things are going fairly well for him. He does appear to have um, a decision to make um, with this Two of Swords. He doesn't quite know what decision he's going to make because, you know, she's blindfolded. And we know that the traditional Two of Swords, the woman is sitting on the bench and she's holding her Two of Swords, or she's holding her Two Swords, and she's blindfolded. And the whole point of that is... Um, you know, you you're gonna have in order to get that blindfold off. You're gonna those those swords represent um, decisions, something that she has to choose to do. But in order to be able to see, she has to make one decision. She has to do. She has to put down one sword, and then she can take the blindfold off with her hand, with her free hand. So it's kind of there's something that he needs to decide. I don't know what that is. There's something that he needs to decide. Um, Again, with tarot, uh, it's good to know your definitions, obviously, but um, you don't necessarily need to know that. I mean, if you're just learning tarot, 
you could probably give someone a tarot reading based off of the imagery alone because if you really study the imagery and you're really good at picking up clues and hints from the images you probably are going to get a good idea of as to what that card means or what it means to you because what it means to you is probably going to be different you know as far as what it means to me now yes there's the basic definition but sometimes my cards I have them uh, for example the hermit the hermit it, it, that's my dad that's my dad card um, I once asked a question when I was drawing for myself, and I well, I asked my dad, who's been passed over for about 14 years now, I asked him, I said, are, are you watching over me, dad? And I pulled the hermit. It was the one card I pulled. And I thought to myself, okay, so you're up above because the hermit is usually up on a mountain, and he's got a lantern, and he's looking down. And that was a clear answer to me that, yes, my dad is up above, and he's got a light shining on me, and he's watching over me. So, for example, like that, the hermit, Whenever I draw the hermit for somebody, I feel like it's a father figure, um, and, and potentially it's a father figure that has passed over that is watching over that person. It doesn't always have to be like that, but you can have these personalized meanings with your cards, okay? But for this one here, um, and, and also I will add too, if you're, you're um, learning how to read the tarot cards, um, Whatever your eyes are drawn to when you first look at a card, that is often something that you need to pay attention to, okay? It might not have anything to do with the book definition of a card, but it's something that you looked at and you seen and it drew your eyes right to it. And for some reason, you're focused on that item in that card. Nine times out of ten, it's because there's a reason for it, okay? That, that item was, that that's a message for you or the person that you're reading for, okay? In this one here, I'm looking at the bullseye. So not so much as the um, definition, which is making a decision. I'm looking at the bullseye, and look where that first that first um, sword or that dagger is in. It's right smack dab in that bullseye. So um, if I were just looking at these three cards, I would say Trump is actually in a pretty good position. And I know people don't want to hear that. I personally could care less because I think we're... Um, I personally don't think we have anyone really in it, out of both of these people that I, you know, I would choose. So I, I, I personally don't care. But just objectively looking at these cards, I see a bullseye. I see um, a person, the hanged man is hanging upside down, um, kind of going with the flow. Um, you know, he's tied at the ankles. He's tied at the um, wrist. But guess what? He's got the key right there. He could unlock himself. So usually I would look at the hangman as looking at something from a different perspective. In this case, I'm kind of wondering if it's Trump um, kind of being controlled. Like, is he is he not letting out all of his, you know, is he kind of, is he t trying to tone it down? I'm wondering if he feels bound, if he feels bound to do something um, or to not say something that he wants to say. I don't know, that I'm, I'm, to me in this, this card, what is grabbing my attention are the, um, the chains at the hands, the chains at the feet, and the key in his hands. So, I, I don't know, and, and again, the background isn't that great. We've got some clouds, you know, it's not a sun shining day. We do have flowers, we have green grass. Um, it's almost kind of just like a melancholy, like I feel like maybe he feels um, controlled. Maybe he's not, I don't, I don't know. But then again, I don't know if Trump, you know, is he the type of person that if somebody in his campaign said, hey, tone it down a little bit, wait till whatever, don't, don't do this, don't do that. You know, keep your speeches, you know, this or that, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know if he's the type that would listen or I don't know. But I feel like this is this is definitely him feeling like he is trapped in a situation, like he is bound. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. He's got the key. He could unlock himself. He could change positions. Typically, this hangman says that he's comfortable. The, 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 this card, definition-wise, is going to say that there, it, this person is in a not a great position, but they're comfortable. They don't look uncomfortable. They're not screaming. They're not angry. They're not scared. They're just, they're just there. Um, 
So I don't know, that one kind of throws me a little bit. I, I kind of feel like maybe he wants to do something and he's being, he's being controlled a little bit or he feels, um, he feels like maybe he can't express himself the way he wants to. I don't, you know. But then we have the Wheel of Fortune. These two, by the way, are major arcana. So these are your major life things. Um, you know what, though? Come to think of it, this could be just the presidency in itself. You know, he maybe he maybe he doesn't like, you know, just the the um, the reins of being president. He's not free to do what he wants to do or say what he wants to say. Everything is different now. I mean, if you look at his life from you know three and a half four years ago. Um, to now, it is completely different than, let's say, 10 years ago. Um, I, I kind of feel like maybe, you know, that is part of it, is him just feeling that this position, although I think he does like that powerful position, he did run for president, he didn't have to, he did, but I almost feel like there's part of him that doesn't doesn't like where he's at. And he, he's going along with it, okay? He He's sticking it out, he's doing it, but it's got him totally flipped around like it's completely opposite of what he would be doing if he were not president of the United States so I kind of think that that's what it is um and then we've got the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune um in in my eyes and in, in this reading for who we're reading for I kind of feel like that's a good sign um, again, I know there's going to be a lot of people that don't see it that way, and that is absolutely fine. Um, everybody has their own interpretation, but in this case, I've got, what I'm noticing is that bullseye, that bullseye, and that wheel of fortune, okay? Our cycles are, the, the, the life cycle, it's always spinning, it's always turning, okay? You're never in one state for very long. Things are always changing from day to day, from minute to minute, second to second even. Your life can change in just a second, okay? And, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, it kind of symbolizes that, you know, maybe whatever is going on in his life now is about to change because of that wheel, that wheel effect. And when I look at his life, I don't necessarily know if it's great. I, you know, he's been kind of, you know, you know, he, he gets attacked quite a bit. And so I'm wondering if maybe this Wheel of Fortune is, I, I'm just going to say it, I feel like it is the election. I do think it is going to go in his favor. So we have not asked the cards yet, okay? This is just the three-card reading on Trump. I'm also going to do the three-card reading on Biden, and then I'm going to pull a final couple cards to see who we think could potentially be the winner, okay? But just from these three, I do think with the bullseye and the wheel of fortune that things right now are in his favor. Is he 100% happy with being president? No, I don't think so. But he's willing to do it. it. It has turned his life upside down completely. I mean, he went from being, you know, um, an actor on, uh, you know, Home Alone uh, you know, being loved by everyone, uh, you know, even showing up on Saturday Night Live for some skits to being absolutely the most hated man right now. So it has completely flipped his life, uh, his life upside down. But I think that he will. <clears throat> I, I, if I were to just look at this, I would say yes, he would win the, the re-election. So, okay, so that was Trump. So now let's go ahead and do Biden. I'm going to fan it out just like I did for Trump so they can be the same. Okay. All right. So what kind of information can we get about Joe Biden's vibration right now? So here's the one. This is okay. Okay. And then I still like to grab from the middle. 
<laughs> what are the odds of that? Okay, so they both pulled the hangman. You've seen me shuffle. I'm picking random. They both pulled that one. I think neither one of them want to be president. If you really want to know the truth, I think they're both forced into this by something. Neither one of them want to do it. That's what I'm sticking with. And then this one. Mm, mm, okay. All right. So this is, this is, um, okay. So the first thing I'm noticing, besides the fact that they both pulled um, the hangman, these two cards are two major arcanas. In Trump's pull, these two cards were two major arcanas. The first card in jo uh, um, Donald Trump's was a two. In this card, the first one is a two. So how crazy is that? That's the first thing I'm seeing right away. Um, so let's get this one out of the way. Same thing. He's bound. He's being for. I don't. I don't think either one of them really, really, truly want this position. They're doing it because there's other. There's there. There's other um, motives and reasonings behind it, but it's not because either one of them genuinely want to be there. Okay. The two of wands. Now, Trump's two of swords was the bullseye that pulled my attention, and then we've got this one. So we've got the two of wands. Okay, so this is kind of like, you know, you have the world in your hands right now. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to decide to do? Um, we've got fire, okay, but we also had fire in Trump's cards. You know, there was that big bonfire. Um, so, uh, oh, never mind. No, nope, that was my reading from last night because I had to do a sneak peek. So I, I actually pulled um, the hermit for Trump, and so that was what caught my eye in that one. But, um, but still, that was... That was Trump's card that I pulled last night. So there, fire to me represents passion, your inner desires. Um, so there is fire here. Um, so we've got the stars. We've got, he's standing on, um, he's standing kind of on the um, balcony of something. Sometimes height, sometimes physical height can actually represent a higher perspective. So maybe he is looking at it from a higher perspective. Maybe he's saying, okay, I don't want to do this, but I have to do this for some reason. This is, this is my call. This is my thing. Um, you know, so there is some desire to, to do this. I don't know how much of it. I don't know if it's really enough or he's just doing it because he feels obligated to run. I, I don't know. But this is definitely a person that, based off of their decision, they have the world in their hands. They could do anything. They can accomplish everything, but they have to first decide what they're going to do. Once they do it, then they, they, put it, they put it into action. So this is kind of like Biden and um, just, I don't know. I don't know what he's, um, this could actually be just the decision to run for president. This could have been his um this could have been his uh, moment where he said, yeah, I, I, this is what I need to do. Um, he's got a wand. He's got a wand. He's got, he's got a cat. He's got a pet. There's some mountains off in the back. To me, mountains represent obstacles. But then again, he's higher. He's, he's up high on the balcony. So he's from, a, he's, He's looking at it from a state of uh, advantage. Um, contemplation. The look on this person's face is that of determination. Like he is determined. Um, he is determined, he has the power, he, he, he simply just needs to make that decision. All right, and then we've got the magician. So the Magician is, again, it's a major arcana, and this is a powerful card. Okay, so this is basically saying that Biden has all the tools that he needs to win this election. He has everything there. So um, this is somebody who has all of these things, and look at all of the power coming from his hands. Look at the, the this is manifestation. Okay, he has all the power and the tools to manifest anything he wants. He's got his chalice, his pentacle, his sword, his wand, you know, and he, he's concentrating. He's got 
you know, the lights coming from his head, his heart, and his hands is all lit up. So this is a person that, um, you know, has what it takes to get what needs to be done done. However, if you look at it from the other side, this can also be a sneaky person. So um, now somebody did ask me about reversals and whether or not I read reversals. I do not. Most of the time I don't. However, if I were to have pulled this like this, I would simply tell you that, you know, okay, number one, you're able to manifest everything that you need. You have all the tools at your disposal. But then again, the other side of it is, you know, are you doing things for the higher good of yourself? Are you being sneaky? Are you, you know, using tactics that aren't good? That to me is the um, reversal um, definition of that card. So I will just often not necessarily keep it reversed, but I will give that person the upside and what you would consider as a reversal definition. So that's how I do that. But I don't, I don't keep them like that. So um, in this case, it was upright. So I will say that. So I don't necessarily think that it's, I don't think it's sneaky magic. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. If I were to compare these two three card readings, I would say they're both the same right now, honestly. And that's not what people want to hear. They want to know an answer who's going to win, who isn't going to win. I mean, as of right now, as of right now, from the three cards that I pulled from Trump and the three cards that I pulled from Biden, I would say that there's about an equal chance. They both pulled almost identical cards. I mean, not exactly identical, but they both had two major arcanas that weren't necessarily bad. They both had a two as the first card. And, you know, it's like, now, now so now you have to wonder, is this magician going to outweigh the Wheel of Fortune or is the Wheel of Fortune going to outweigh the magician? Because um, I do feel like luck is on Trump's side. But then Biden has all the tools necessary to pull out a win. So that's where I'm at right now. So let's go ahead and shuffle one more time. And I'm going to pull one card for Trump. And I'm going to pull one card for Biden. And then based on who has what, I'm going to lean with that person. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that because I pull a card for one or the other and I say that it's going to be for one or the other, things change every day. Okay, so something could happen tomorrow that would complete. And if I drew tomorrow, it would be a completely different draw. That's the beauty of the cards. We do, we do have free will. You have to remember that. And the cards are, um, they're kind of like a guidance. They pick up the vibrations and the energy of the people that you're talking about. But that's just it. They pick up the energy and the vibrations of people. And those energy and vibrations change on a daily basis. So um, it kind of gives you a good idea and a little bit of perspective as far as how to look at things. Um, but we, we really, you know, so much stuff can happen between now and November. So it's hard to really know for sure. Okay, so let's pull one more, or one for each one. Okay, so this first card is going to be for Trump. I don't want to look at it yet. I want to keep it as a surprise. And then the second card is going to be for Biden. Okay, what do we got? So this is Trump. This is Biden. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, you can't make this shit up. Okay, that doesn't answer my question anymore. We've got celebration. We've got new beginnings. Well, what the hell? Trump could be celebrating a win. And Biden could be <laughs> starting his next chapter in his life as president. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's 
do it again. These cards are almost similar. I mean, it's like they both had kind of a reading that was similar. So it's like now I can't even. All right, let's ask the question more specifically. Okay. Who will win the presidency? 2020, the United States. We have Joe Biden. We have Donald Trump. So let's pull one for Donald Trump. Will Donald Trump win the presidency? Will he win the election? I'm not going to look. Will Joe Biden win the election? I'm not going to look. Okay. Mm. Mm. So I will leave it there. Because we have Donald Trump, King of Cups. I like to call him the king of his emotions. He's, a, he's the poker player. Um, authoritative. He's the king after all, right? He's authoritative. He's older. He's mature. Uh, if I were to give this, um, if I were to give this a yes or a no meaning, this is going to be my yes card. Okay. If I were to give Three of Cups a yes or no meaning, that's going to be my yes card. This one here is the Seven of or sorry, the Six of Swords. Okay, so the Six of Swords is um, this is kind of one of those things where um, in tarot sometimes they'll say. Um, if you're in a situation that's no longer serving you in your highest best interest, it's time for you to get out of that situation. It's okay to leave. It's okay to back down. If it's helping you to do that, then definitely it's okay. Um, and so the fact that this woman is kind of sneaking away, it looks like at night under the full moon, you know, there's two people in front of her right back here she's got all her swords packed all six of them right and they're they're kind of you know escaping leaving um if this were a yes or no i would have to give this a no however if this ace of sword was a yes or no i would have to say yes so will donald j trump become the next president or will he be reelected as the next president i would say yes Based off of these two cards, I'm going to say yes. I can't say yes and yes on Biden. I can say yes here. I can say no here. So that is where I'm going to leave it today, folks. Um, again, things could change tomorrow. I did a reading on this myself out of curiosity yesterday. Uh, completely different. Um, this one was more interesting because the two of them came out so alike. That That's like, you know, it never ceases to amaze me sometimes the cards that you pull on something so but as of right now i would have to say that it's leaning leaning in trump's favor okay if there's something that you've seen in here that you say no no no, no you're wrong nyoka no there's something you read wrong or this or that that is my interpretation so you may see it different but uh, and that's okay but um i would have to say as things stand now it's leaning in Trump's favor that doesn't mean it can't change tomorrow okay but right now because I don't necessarily think it's out of the question for Biden I think that you know he had that magician so he has he has the ability to make something happen if he wants to make it happen it's a matter of is he going to put those tools into play into use okay he has the tools there's no question about it he has what it takes is he going to utilize those things? That's why I say you can't be sure as to what's going to happen. Yes, he has the tools. I don't know whether or not he knows how to use them or if he's actually going to, you know, utilize those those tools. So, um, you know, I, that's a pretty powerful card. The Ace of Swords is a pretty powerful card. You know, this is kind of like new beginnings, putting things into action. This is just like a light bulb moment. That's what I like to think of my aces as a light bulb moment. And so there is something going on with him. But this card here, the six of swords, and then you have two swords. Here you have cups. Okay. That's another thing you have to look at. So for Trump's yes cards, 
he has two cups. He has the King of Cups and he has the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is celebration. Okay, and then the King of Cups. Cups are water. Water is emotions, feelings, things like that. So then you have the Swords. And he has the Ace of Swords. And then he has the Six of Swords. Okay, so Swords are kind of like... Um, uh, I call them verbs. They're your verbs, okay? They're your action. Um, fast action. You know, think of a sword in the air. It's going to be fast. So it's an action, um, taking action quickly, okay? So uh, that's another thing to look at. You know, maybe the fact that, you know, he pulled, you know, maybe maybe he is going to take action to to put his tools into motion. I don't know, but anyway, if I don't stop now, I'm going to end up pulling more cards and continuing to talk and bore you guys and I don't want to do that so um yeah so for today I'm gonna have to say that it is kind of leaning in Trump's um favor um I will do another reading like this in a couple of days on here and see what we get I'll do it exactly the same way exactly the same way and then see what we get and compare from between you know now and then but anyway, um, if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate it. Uh, I thank you very much for supporting me. Uh, you know, if you like this kind of stuff, like I said before on my candle video, sometimes I do candles, sometimes I do tarot. Um, I am getting to the point to where I'm going to start or organizing them into playlists so you can just, you know, click on whatever it is you want to watch. But um, I thank you for your support. Uh, if this is the kind of thing that interests you, please like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, this is new for me. I'm still learning. Uh, I know that people have complained about the volume and the lighting and things like that. I'm still learning, okay? Um, I'm getting there. It's getting a little bit better. I've tr kind of figured out how to do the volume situation, but just hang in there with me guys things will improve as i learn more as i get more into editing and things like that i don't want to have to constantly rely on my adult children to help me do my editing um <laughs> you know i'd like to get to the point to where i can do it myself so but it is a new process and i thank you for being patient and i thank you for your support and um have a wonderful day